It's the kind of extreme decision that if we are lucky, we never face to risk an irreversible medical procedure in hopes of repairing a chronic health problem and starting life anew. The woman you are about to meet, now 39 years old, came to believe that her weight problems would kill her before she got to see her children marry. So she took the leap. Here's ABC's Matt Gutman with her story. For Holly Mathune, the breaking point came when her 10-year-old son Peyton couldn't get his arms around her for a hug. When we first met her last October, Holly was more than 200 pounds overweight. She could barely walk, much less keep up with Peyton, her 11-year-old son Tyler, and her husband Barry. I want to take them to Disney and go on the rides with them. I've never been able to do that. I just want to have more energy, you know, I want to be able to keep up with people my age. For as long as she could remember, Holly Mathune has been fat. And I've been fighting with weight since I was six years old. I've been on every diet, you name it, I've done it. Growing up, she thought her personality could deflect attention from her body size. I always tried to be the funny friend, be the funny person, you know, crack jokes so people wouldn't really judge me by the way I look. She tried to hide the weight in other ways. I always like to volunteer to take the picture or I would be in the back. No medical complications yet, but at 370 pounds, Holly was morbidly obese. As a nurse, she knew she had to turn her life around before it was too late. I want to be around. I want to, I want to meet my grandchildren one day. I want to see my kids get married, you know, all those milestones I want to be around for. After years of unsuccessful dieting, Holly decided on a drastic measure, sleeve gastrectomy surgery to remove 85% of her stomach permanently. Now we don't want to pull the stomach so far over. A radical operation that is now being conducted on an outpatient basis for as little as $12,000. The beauty of the sleeve gastrectomy is that the patients lose weight twice as fast as we have seen with other surgical procedures. That's Dr. David Tree, Holly's bariatric surgeon and a preacher of the sleeve gastrectomy gospel. I've always been on the obese side, not just carrying 20 extra, 30 extra pounds. So, yeah, it's been, it's been a long time that I've dealt with it. And I'm ready to not deal with it anymore. I'm ready to deal with some other things. In less than an hour and with very little blood, a banana-sized pouch is cut from the stomach and stapled shut. The remainder of the stomach is twirled out of a dime-sized hole. Pulling a rabbit out of a hat. What kind of weight do you expect people could lose within the first, let's say, three months? It's not unusual for us to see a patient lose uh, 100 pounds in six months. What also goes when the stomach is removed is a hormone called ghrelin. The ghrelin is a powerful appetite stimulant and when we remove this part of the stomach most of our patients tell us after surgery they're not hungry ever. Sleeve gastrectomy is a newer procedure than traditional bariatric surgery. So new that it's not covered by insurance in most cases. The long-term consequences are still unknown. The short-term results however are stunning. I'm Melanie. I had my surgery five months ago. I had the gastric sleeve and I've lost 83 pounds. I'm Lucy. I had surgery three and a half months ago and I've lost 66 pounds. Hi, I'm Cindy. I lost 158 pounds in 11 months. For Holly, the results are just as striking. It's been two months I've lost 50 pounds. Her entire relationship to food has changed. Meals are now healthy and every morsel chewed 30 times. There's your little plate. Can you handle that? Before the surgery, how right. much of this would you have eaten? I probably would have, could have eaten all of it. The whole plate? Absolutely. Which was six eggs right. plus chicken. Mm -hmm. One year after her surgery, 135 pounds gone. Her, her portion sizes are still tiny. I'm full. I am full. Okay. Yeah. I just had um, two little pieces of pork and a piece of sausage. Yeah. But when everyone around her has full plates, she's not even tempted. If I want a bite of something, I'll let myself have that taste of it. I, I don't let it control me or it doesn't consume my thoughts like it used to. This is something like kind of dressy guy to eat. Oh. For the first time in as long as this 39 year old can remember, she's excited about something new. Shopping. Turn around, let's see the back. I like to go shopping. I like to try on different things, different colors, things I would have never picked up before. She's gone from a size 30 to a size 18. Also shed many of the inhibitions she says held her back her whole life. I always thought I was very outgoing. I thought I had a good personality, but I find 
I'm less hesitant in social situations. I always would kind of be the girl who stood in the back for the picture. Now I find I don't feel as uncomfortable socially. And there's an even more important milestone. My youngest came up to me the other day and he had told me before surgery, I can't wait till I can hug you and my fingers touch. Remember when Peyton's little fingers didn't quite make it around his mom's waist? And the other day he came up to me and hugged me and he's like, they touch. It just felt so good to be able to feel his hands all the way around my back. For Nightline, I'm Matt Gutman in Hanville, Louisiana.